the U.S. and the rest of the world watching and waiting for a debt ceiling deal. This is not a normal place for us to be, to have, uh, to have House Republicans hold our economy hostage. I have not seen from there uh, a seriousness of the White House that they want to deal. Republicans want the president to cut trillions in federal spending before coming to agreement. The president wants an increase without any preconditions and time is ticking. I'm pleased that the staffs are getting together even as you noted as we speak. I think that's a very important sign going forward. On OTR, Congressman Richard Neal pointing out the debt ceiling was raised three times under former President Donald Trump. He says defaulting would call into question America's standing in the world and that's not all. Could Social Security payments stop? That's an interesting question because when you look at what the Republicans proposed in their debt ceiling measure, uh, they said that they left Social Security and Medicare alone. There's some question as to how that would play out as it relates to veterans benefits. The nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office warns the U.S. is at risk of defaulting within the first two weeks of June. Increasing the debt limit means the U.S. would be able to continue paying its bills. You can't shut down the government because you don't want to pay your bills uh, and it would cause a crisis. Now, defaulting could send the U.S. into recession, cost millions of jobs, potentially leave millions of seniors without Social Security checks, and spark a worldwide economic crash.